So let's talk about reproduction. The thing that no middle school teacher really wants to talk about and all middle school students think is going to be really uncomfortable. Um, reproduction is one of those deals that's completely necessary for the survival of a species. We got to reproduce. If, if we don't reproduce, then all the humans die out or all the dogs die out or whatever. So we'll just look at it through that context. Now, there are two types of reproduction. The first one, sexual reproduction. Um, or sorry, asexual reproduction. The A stands for not. Anytime you see A on the front of a word, it means not. So this is not sexual reproduction. The key here is that we have one parent. And that one parent gives 100% all of their DNA to their offspring. Because the parent gives their complete set of DNA to their offspring then, the offspring is identical to the parent and also to any other siblings that that offspring would have. So everybody is completely identical to each other. Take, for example, an amoeba. Um, an amoeba is a unicellular organism, one cell, and when it wants to make more amoebas, it just splits itself in half through mitosis. And we wind up with two amoebas that have one parent and are identical to that parent and also to each other genetically. This is um, a typical thing that we see in very simple organisms, and we'll look at some more examples of that today um, after this video. So two parents are involved in sexual reproduction. They each give half of their DNA to the offspring. Because of that, the offspring are different from... Um, their parents, and they're also different from any siblings that would come along because everybody's getting different DNA. And in the next video, we're going to look at how that's even possible. So take example for pigs. Let's say that we got like a little pink mama pig here that's red because I'm a pink marker, and then we got a black daddy pig because, yes, there are black pigs um, on this side. And so then we uh, get them to breed with each other, and we get like a cute little, you know, brown pig. Kind of looks like a mouse. Sorry, I got the ears all weird. And then like a little dark brown pig, which is totally possible in the pig family because there's all different colors of um, pig fur and skin that exist. These parents, two parents have offspring that are different from each other and also different from them. We are not identical to our parents or to our siblings. Everything in life's got pros and cons, so let's talk about the good and the bad of asexual and sexual reproduction. Um, so time, what do you think about time? Sexual reproduction takes more time and asexual takes less time. How does that, you know, mean anything? Well, one can't go to a million in about an in a few hours in the case of bacteria. But to go from one to one million human um, people it takes like thousands of years because the time between um, one person being able to make another person is like, you know, a long time, like 15, 20, 25, 30 years in your case. Um, how about energy? The uh, sexual reproduction takes more energy and asexual reproduction takes um, less. So bacteria can split in about an hour um, and they don't have to raise their children. Whereas humans take about nine months to be pregnant and then 12 months to have a baby. And then for the rest of infinity, their kids need stuff and they have to take care of them. So we're definitely looking at a much larger amount of energy that goes into sexual reproduction. Now, for animal complexity, what do you think? Certainly, um, sexually reproduced organisms are much more complex. Asexual reproduction, uh, the organisms have to be very simple um, so that reproduction is easy and it's fast. Whereas with sexual reproduction, we get much more complex individuals with lots of parts and types of cells. So it takes a lot longer to create them, but we also get much you know, cooler things like elephants and alligators and things. Now about variation. That's variety or differences. Obviously, none in asexual reproduction. Everybody is identical, whereas there's lots of variation with sexual reproduction. Why is this important? Well, the thing is, all parasites can be killed with, like, one type of medicine because if something kills one, it'll kill them all. Whereas with sexual reproduction and all humans uh, are not exactly the same, we're not all affected by everything the same way. Um, poisons, pathogens... They don't get everybody all the time. So somebody is going to survive and be able to continue the species um, and carry us all on. So then, you know, why is it that we have both? Certainly one should have won over by the other after, you know, millions of years on Earth. Which is better? 
And the thing is, they're both good and they're both bad. Asexual reproduction is very fast. So anything that happens as far as them not being genetically different keeps them going because they reproduce quickly. But sexual reproduction, good grief, it takes so long, you know, we should all be gone. But the variation is what keeps us around um, because there's always a difference and that will pass on. So how is sexual reproduction possible anyway? That is our next video. The end.